Let's learn in this video how to create a private build agent in Azure DevOps in order to run your CI CD pipelines. Azure DevOps already offers hosted build agents. Those are hosted on Azure virtual machines. They could run on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. But for some scenarios, this is not enough for some customers that they have, for example, a private infrastructure uh, protected by a virtual or by a private network. So a, build, a public build agent cannot access that private network. So the solution here would be to install the private build agent inside a virtual machine inside that a protected network. And for that reason here, we Azure DevOps offers this feature that is actually to be able to install it on a virtual machine. And then Azure DevOps, the server side, will be able to contact or to connect to that build agent to send the uh, instructions of the pipeline to that agent and so that it will run in that agent. This is also useful for, for another scenario where here, if you have noticed recently, Azure DevOps started refusing to run pipelines uh, if you created a new subscription. So in this case, you will need actually either to ask for permission from Microsoft, uh, you create a request for that, or you should create a private build agent for that. So follow me next to see how we can create this private build agent into a Windows virtual machine. Inside Azure DevOps, inside the organization scope, so make sure to go to the organization, not inside the project. And then here you go to pipelines and then agent pools. From here you can manage your built agents. So here I have the Azure pipelines built agents. Those are the agents that runs in Azure. And then I have here another built agent that runs also in Azure, but inside a virtual machine scale set. And they have a video that shows you how to, how to make that work. But today I want to create another build agent into my virtual machine or into actually my own uh, laptop that I'm using today. So I'll go here to say add a new pool please. I select the pool type as you see it could be a virtual machine scale set in Azure or it could be ho self hosted. So this could be anything either your machine or a virtual machine and so to in, in your infrastructure. I select self hosted build agent and then I'll give it a name. I call it Hussam Win 10 because I'm using Windows 10. And then I'll go to create. And of course here, the, those uh, build agent could be installed on Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. So I'll go to create the build agent. Once it's created here, I'll go to click on it. And then Azure DevOps will help me to create an agent inside this pool. So I'll go to click new agent. And from here I get some few PowerShell scripts that will help me to achieve this goes. So first, I need to select my operating system where I want to install these build agents. So that could be on Mac OS, on Linux, or on Windows as I'll demo today. And first thing to do here is to go to download the agent itself. And that's what I have done actually here. So that's called VSTS agent win and then you have a version number for it. So that's a zip file. And then by using these commands, you will go to specify where to install your build agent. So I'll go here to my C folder. I'm within my C folder and then I'll go to create another directory called agent and I'll go inside that agent. After that, I go to run the second command, which will go just to copy the agent zip file from the downloads into the current C folder and then it will go to extract it into the current folder. So at this stage here, we should see some new files and folders that have been added to here. One of these files is the config cmd and run cmd. And that's the next step actually is to run that cmd file. So let's go to run that cmd. And here it will ask me for the service URL for my Azure DevOps. I'll get that from this here. So in my case, it's dev.azure.com slash the name of the organization, copy it, provide it here. And then it will ask me here for a path. So actually it, it's asking me first if I want to use a path. So I'll say, yes, I want to use the personal access token. And here I need to provide a token. And to do that, I'll go to open a new instance of Azure DevOps. And then I'll go here to select personal access tokens. From here, I will see the ones that I have created earlier and I'll go now to create a new token. I'll give it a name and then the organization and then I'll specify an expiration date 
and I select an expiration date that could be uh, one, one year actually. Then for the scope I need to select the scope or the right access for this token. So here for simplicity I'll just select full access so that it will have access of, to all of these resources for the code, for the build releases, test management and so on. Let's continue with full access and let's go to create this path. Once it's created here I can go to copy it so make sure to copy it in this step. Coming back to the uh, console and then go to paste that token. And then it's asking me here to enter the agent pool name. So I'll use the same name I used it for, my, uh, for my agent, which is Osam Winten. Make sure to write that right. And then I enter the name for the agent itself. I'll use the same name for my build agent. Continue with that. And now it's scanning to, for tool capabilities inside my machine. It will check if, what are the tools that I have installed in my machine. So if I have, for example, Docker, Terraform, uh, whatever, NPM installed or AZ command line installed in my machine, it will detect that and it will send this information back to Azure DevOps. And that was done successfully. Now it's asking me for a work folder. So I'll continue with dash work, which will be inside the C build folder in, in my, that I have installed. Accept that. And here an important, um, an important feature here is to run the agent as a service. So because here it will start the agent, but and I'll be able to um, to run pipelines inside this agent. But next, it's if I restart my machine, that agent will not restart automatically for me. So by running it as a service, it will run automatically for me in each, in each time I restart my machine. So I want to select this feature. So I say yes, please. And then I will select the user account. I continue with that default one. And yes, here tells me the uh, service or the agent now have started successfully. Nice. Just before uh, forgetting here, I'm using here the administrator um, uh, PowerShell window because here I'm installing tools in my machine. So now if I go back to the Azure DevOps and go to refresh the built agent right here and then go to agents, I should be, I should see here an agent that is ready to be running. And in a few seconds, you will see that it's now available online so we can run our pipelines inside this build agent. And that's what we'll be doing right here in just a second before I show you that here, if you go to uh, details, security will get some additional information about the user permissions. And if you go to settings, you'll see you'll be able here to run maintenance job or to go to update and upgrade your agents if you want to. So now if I want to run this pipeline into my private build agent, I will go here to the pool section where I'll say here I want to use the VM image that is the hosted Azure DevOps VM image in Azure. And if I want to use my own private agent, I'll just go to command that and I'll use another different, somehow different uh, syntax where I'll go here to specify the name of my agent inside the pool section. So here I'll use the name Hossam Win 10. That's the name of my build agent. Once that's done, I go to save and now I should see my pipeline running inside my private build agent. I'll go open pipelines. And you can see here that I have actually a running pipeline. So I'll go to it. It's this last one. And here I can see that my pipeline started running by checking the source code into my local machine where I have that build agent. And then it will go to uh, run the, the next uh, two steps. And that was it. I hope you liked this video. Thank you and stay tuned for the next videos.